Hello friends, it is a snowy Costco shopping day. We are sitting around 22 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Little snowflakes are coming down. I'm headed into Costco to do some shopping. All right, made it to Costco. Not a bad drive, even though it is starting to snow harder. The road was not too slick. And I'm starting with Costco gas, or I will forget if I don't get the gas. So I'm waiting in line. We're gonna get some gas, and then we'll head in to do our shopping. Whew. It's coming down. I just used up a hand soap and it's on sale, so I'm gonna grab some, $9.99. I'm also almost out of shavers and these are on sale for $19.99, so I'm gonna grab those too. They have a big generator here on sale. Looks really nice, $799.99, it's $100 off. In Alaska, generators can be great for ice storms, wind storms, earthquakes, we do have a lot of power outages, unfortunately, because of extreme weather conditions. So a generator can be very helpful. Ooh, they have some new organizing stuff. I love organizing stuff. They have this new bamboo organizer. Really cute. And then I have seen this all over the internet from Amazon to organize your bags for $18.99. I think we're gonna have to get it. I think that seems like a fun thing to organize, have all your bags organized and pretty. If you are new here, my name is Lauren. I am a mom to four boys. We live here in Alaska. We are a hunting and fishing family. And I like to take you Costco shopping to show you the Alaska prices and what I buy for my family for the week. If we see anything fun that is Alaska specific, I try and point that out to you. I also like to find new products here at our Alaska Costco in case you might be interested in looking for them at your Costco. So let's keep shopping. We're gonna get to the food here pretty quick. They also have these kitchen and pantry sets back in stock. It has 18 pieces that for a, oh, actually I've never seen this one. I've never seen it have 18 for $114. But that's actually an amazing deal if you needed to do an organizing project. Because these bins can be like $10 a piece at Target. So that is a huge box of bins. Never seen that before. I don't know where this goes to, but they have a cute new rug it says spring collection welcome to our home this is fun too i've never seen this they've got this wall mount shower dispenser where you can put like your shampoo conditioner or whatever like you see at a gym or something never seen that before clutter free easy to refill for 49.99 magic erasers are on sale for 7.99 i don't know about you but these things are amazing and save me as a mom. These gloves are on clearance for $4.97. So I'm gonna buy them and put them away for next year. These are extra smalls, so these will fit Weston perfectly. I get Lauren a birthday gift for to be. Hi hey, Gary, out. how are you? I was gonna tell the pickle chips are here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna yeah. I'll have to go grab some. Do you wanna say hi? Everybody will wanna see you. Hi, Laura and I are shopping together, <laughs> sort of maybe. Are you on a break? Or are you uh, just, just in between? Here. You just got here, yeah, all right. One more thing. Yeah. Some little birdie said that her birthday is next week. You might want to know about that. <laughs> Thanks. See you Bye. Oh, I saw this. Somebody posted this on Instagram. Look how cute this is. A Stanley Junior Wheelbarrow. It comes with all these tools, $39.99. I'm sure Everett would love that. Oh, it even has a little rake and a hoe that are kid size. That is super cute. They're making us want it to be summer, putting out their bunch of balloons. These are the best water balloons on earth. Our kids will never know the pain of blowing up water balloons one at a time. $18.99. 
If you're new here, Gary is our friend. He uh, passes out samples. And when I used to shop with my little boy, Everett, Gary became our friend. So we always want to say hi to Gary. So just wanted to make sure I explain who Gary was. He was on his way to work, but usually he is at a sample stand and we stop and chat. 669, 7.99, 5.99. Tomatoes, $8.99. Grabbing some pears, $6.49. They're $1.62 a pound. I like to try and get fruit under $2 a pound. It's not always possible, but these pears are. $4.49 for a pineapple. We do not buy pineapples very often. They are a luxury item. We're getting watermelons in too for $11.99 feels like spring, but spring is still several months away. Should have left my jacket on until after the cold section. Ooh, this is new, a green goddess salad. It must be about to go bad because it's only 350. I'm gonna try it for 350 for two of them. Can't go wrong there. That's gonna be my lunch. Ooh. Spinach is on clearance for $2.75. It looks okay, there's a couple bad ones in there. I'll just take it home and freeze it right away and then we can. I can use it in my smoothies. Good price. $8.99 for grapes, $6.49, $2.99 or 99 cents a pound. The boys are going on a little camping trip with Mark this weekend, so I'm gonna get them some special stuff. $9.99 for two. Gonna grab them some vanilla chocolate chunk and blueberry. These pineapple bacon chicken sausages remain one of my favorite things to buy, $14.99. They work great for my lunch. They work great for an after school snack. They work great for Saturday lunch when we're all home and can just heat up a bunch in the air fryer. They've just become a staple in our house. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Belgian chocolate mousse. It's really good. Oat milk powder. That is my GoPro. I'm filming a video for YouTube. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I thought that was so neat that I could see. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. Have a good day. Have a good day. You too. Oat milk powder. Tastes like oat milk. Watered down oat milk. <laughs> I do not usually buy milk at Costco. I do not have time to run to the grocery store today where it's cheaper, so I am going to be buying it here. I'm also going to be putting on my jacket because I'm chilled and it's going to be cold in there. Whew. All right, we got 969 for two or 485 a gallon. And our milks come in these weird containers for shipping. Do your milks look like that or are they in like the more traditional shape? These, I guess are easier to stack and ship, but they are very hard for kids to pour milk out of. So when I go to the regular grocery store, I can get the regular shaped ones. I am not a coffee drinker, but this packaging is super cute. Mount Comfort Coffee. Look how cute that is. I'm a sucker for good packaging. We are a hunting and fishing family, so mostly we eat moose meat, halibut, and salmon for our protein, but sometimes I like to show you the prices of different things. In past videos, I've showed you the price of beef, um, seafood, pork. Today, I think we'll look at some chicken products, frozen chicken, just so you can know how much they cost in Alaska. Okay, for some 10 pounds of chicken wings, it's $25.99. These are the Kirkland brand. Then for six and a half pounds of chicken breast, $17.99. Again, the Kirkland brand. Now for Foster Farms chicken breast, $25.49. And 10 pounds of thin sliced chicken breast, $27.49. And lastly, we have chicken thighs for $16.89 for six and a half pounds. I do not know if those prices have gone up or down because I just don't buy chicken unless it's these. $7.99. 
$17.99. We're obsessed with these. You put them in the air fryer for 10 minutes. They come out crispy and yummy. They're great on a salad or as an after school snack. We do also have wild caught Alaskan salmon here in the frozen section, $37.49 or $12.49 a pound. While it may seem really easy to catch salmon in Alaska, it still takes effort. It still takes a lot of timing. The fish are not always running. There's specific times where they're running. Sometimes you can only catch one or two. Other times you can do subsistence fishing where you can catch 20 to 30, 40, 50 per family. But it's a lot of work to catch and take care of salmon. So some people just prefer to still buy it even though it is available to residents here in the state. This rice cauliflower stir fry is on sale. I'm gonna grab it as a quick and easy side dish. Eggs seem to be well in stock again and they're $15.99, but they do still have a limit of two on them. Green beans, $9.79. Edamame, $13.59. These come in little bags that you can just heat up in the microwave. My kids love them as an after school snack. Because of the egg shortage, it forced me to go look for eggs at other stores here in round town. And I realized some of them are a lot cheaper than Costco. So I've started picking them up on random trips to like Walmart or Fred Meyer if they have them for cheaper. $7.59. Ooh, I see something new. We're gonna have to try it. My family loves pickles. They have Grillo's pickles, classic dill pickle chips for $4.99. Gary made sure that I knew that they had them back in and I needed to look for them. They're starting to get lots of summer grills. This is a Traeger grill, which is a smoker. This is what we have, and it makes the most amazing roasts with our moose meat. Highly recommend it. You burn wood pellets and it just smokes the meat and just, it's slower. It's not a quick cooking thing, but it's like, takes your meat to a whole new level. Adirondack chairs, $159, made of recycled plastic. Oh, those are actually nice because they would last longer than wood. Oh, and then the footstool is $54.99 because I was looking, I thought, $54.99 is not that bad of a price, but then that's just for the footstool. We got our pickles. Thank you. I have had a few questions lately about the socks that I love. These are them, and they're actually on clearance, so I'm going to grab some. Um, they disappeared for a while. I never want to be without them again. I wear them 12 months of the year in Alaska. I don't know why they're on sale for $11.97, but I'm going to grab two. And if you don't know, if something ends in a seven, that means it's on sale. And this also means that it might be going away. Most Costco prices end in a nine. $7.49 tortilla chips. Look what they got. Dunkaroos. $14.89 for 30. My kids tried those for the first time the other day because one of our viewers sent them to them. I had never seen them here before. $5.99 for two jars of pickles. I opened one of these out of food storage this week, so I'm gonna get a replacement, $6.79. I bought some of this a few weeks ago. We tried it and we really liked it. It was good. Some of my kids liked it, some didn't, but they're not used to eating Alfredo sauce. This Rayo's remains the clear winner in our family. It is the best marinara sauce out there, um, flavor-wise, in my opinion, and like good ingredients. And now I'm hot. Gonna grab these for the boys' lunches, 11.69. 9.79. To grab some elderberry gummies. They're on sale for $14.99. My friend was talking about how her kids have been so much healthier since taking these. So we're gonna add them to the kids' vitamins for the rest of the winter. Is that it? All right, friends, here is our basket for the day. Not a huge stock up trip, but we still found stuff that we needed. 
you'd like to guess how much we spent, go for it. I will do a haul and tell you the total when we get home. No taste test today. I guess I could sample those pickle chips. Oh, but I just not, I'm not hungry right now. So um, I do want to tell you, I upgraded to this clamp um, about six months ago for doing my Costco hauls. It keeps the camera, it's on like this stick and then I can um, film easy in Costco, talk to you guys. But one day I pulled the camera off and went all the way home and didn't have this clip and had to go all the way back to the store. So try really hard not to lose the clip now because this is the essential part. These people in front of me are on a stock up trip. They've got bins on top of their car. They're filling with food. Often people in Alaska, if they don't live in the main cities, we only have four Costco's in the state, two in Anchorage, one in Fairbanks, and one in Juneau. And so when people come in from outlying areas, they will go to Costco and stock up and then take it home with them. So that's probably what those people are doing. I have been asked many times why Alaskans front windshields have cracks in them. You see it in probably every YouTuber's video if they ever show you out their front window. Um, right now I am behind a gravel truck. They put gravel on the roads instead of salt. Salt attracts animals like moose to the roads to lick the salt. So they put down gravel, which means uh, my windshield has been constantly pelted with gravel this entire drive home. And if a bigger rock happens to get, you know, hit into the windshield, then you, um, go from hot to cold, like in your garage, your car is warm, and then you come out into the cold, all of a sudden you get this big spread, even if you don't realize you have a crack in your windshield. And yes, we do get them replaced, but it happens so often that you can't just replace it for every single crack. So I got mine replaced, and then I have a crack. The rock hit down where you couldn't even see a chip, and then when it got cold out, it spread across the entire bottom of my windshield, and I will get it replaced again eventually, but it's not something, it's expensive, um, so I don't just replace it every time it gets a crack. Some people's insurance will cover it, ours does not, so we just live with it until it's like to the point where you can't see or it can't. it's in such a bad spot that you need to get it replaced and then you get it replaced. I know in other countries that's against the law, but here there is no law against having a crack in your windshield. My crack goes along the bottom. I made it home. Luna has not come to check out the groceries. I went on this grocery haul much earlier in the day than I usually do. Um, she's still napping. Let's go say hi to her and then I'll show you the haul. Hi, Miss Luna. You having a good nap? Perfect thing to do on a really snowy day, huh? Well, you can come check out our groceries if you want to, but if not, you can stay there too. First, let's start with milk. We got two gallons of milk, some Go-Gurts. My kids are obsessed with Go-Gurts. Uh, we like to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with this whole wheat bread and then ham and cheese sandwiches with this nine grain bread. Pineapple bacon sausages. We're just obsessed with them. I'm going to try this as my lunch, this chopped green goddess salad. We'll see how it is. And then got some spinach that's going in the freezer because it was on clearance. And I can tell if I leave it, it is going to go bad. Tomatoes, three things of bananas. Try and get them in different shades of yellow and green. But we go through a lot of bananas around here. Some grapes, some blueberries, and some apples. I still have some grapefruit and oranges over there from last week's fruit, so I didn't get those today. I did grab pears though. The pears recently have been the least expensive fruit around and also so good. So keep buying them. 
Uh, I grabbed these for the boys. They are going on a little camping adventure with Mark this weekend and their cousins, so I thought that would be a fun treat to bring along. We like to use these in our breakfast burritos that we store in the freezer, and so I grabbed some more of those for food storage. As I said, this is our favorite marinara, and mousse spaghetti is a staple dinner around here. And my kids are also obsessed with pickles. If you open one of these jars, it's pretty much gone in a few minutes. Got some more tortilla chips. We're gonna try out the Grillo's pickle chips, see how the kids like those. And then we have our a couple snacks for lunches and after school snacks, animal crackers and these crunch rollers. These are my favorite, but the boys also love them. Then we have our little frozen food section, green beans, edamame, cauliflower stir fry rice. I've tried this before and it's really good. So it'll be a good um, side dish with like some moose steak or teriyaki moose steak. And then these lightly breaded chicken breast chunks are the best. And we have the table of fun that we didn't know we were gonna buy, but we bought it because they were on sale or we just happened to see them. And we started with some soap, Mr. Clean Magic Erasers to clean all the grime that gets left on the walls and everywhere in the house. Some more razors, some elderberry. I thought I got two of these. Maybe one of them's in the car somewhere else and I missed it. And then these food bag organizers. I'm excited to try those out. And they had Weston's size of gloves. So I'm gonna save those for him for next winter. And two packs of my favorite Ladies Crew Merino wool socks. These are my favorite, but eventually they do wear out in the pad of the foot. They get holes in them. So I like to have them on stock, especially when they're on clearance like this. I hope they're not disappearing again. That was a very sad year of my life without my, without being able to buy replacement socks. I tried a ton of other brands and didn't like any of them. I just think these have the perfect thickness to warmth ratio that I can wear them all year round. Okay, the total for today's Costco haul is $332.75. We got out of there for under $350. We always gotta give ourselves a pat on the back for that. We got some good food for the pantry as well as for the freezer. It feels good. I need <laughs> the refrigerator was very empty before I went shopping today and I didn't wanna leave the boys with an empty refrigerator. Yes, I am actually about to go hop on an airplane in about an hour for an Alaskan winter adventure. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna find out where I'm going. But for now, I gotta make sure I have everything packed that I need for my little getaway. Thank you so much for spending time with me Costco shopping today. We are so grateful for each and every one of you that chooses to spend time with us. We love you and we'll see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life.